Hi, Captain Mike here with you again. Uh, with what I hoped going to be a rather short, semi-informative video. Uh, a subscriber of mine uh, asked me a question the other day about uh, had I ever made a two-part plaster mold using a styrofoam master. Of course, this would be used for slip casting. Actually, I had never tried making a, a two-part mold uh, using styrofoam for a master, so I had to give it a try. And uh, the results weren't really good. I rushed it. Uh, this is the results right here. It'll stay together long enough for me to even get it on camera. Uh, it literally fell apart as I demolded it. Now, that a lot of that is my fault. This thing is still wet. After, I don't know, four or five days of unmolding, I think the plaster was going bad. Uh, it's a little grainy. Uh, and I beat it on the floor, I have to be honest. To try to separate it, I beat it on the floor. I got, I got anxious. But that got me to thinking, and it led to this video. So let's get on with it. What does plaster stick to? Just regular old plaster. Of course, the first thing that I did was I put some on some styrofoam. And this was a piece of styrofoam I sprayed vegetable shortening on. And the styrofoam slid right off of it. This is not an inclusive test by any means. It's just a simple surface adhesion test to see what happened. But it slid off of that fine. It's still stuck to this styrofoam. We can make it come loose, boom, it popped loose. But it brought a little bit of styrofoam with it and you wouldn't get that one out of a mold. That's just untreated styrofoam. So yes, the vegetable uh, spray does help. May not be the end of the solution. The rest of this stuff, I don't have a clue. We're gonna have to just go through it. Let's start with a piece of wood, boom. It fell right off that piece of wood. So it's not gonna stick to piece to wood. Also, if you treat a wood mold with uh, uh, Murphy's uh, oil, uh, I think it's uh, about 50-50, something like that, several coats on it, I know that works. Piece of laminate, okay. Now, oh, it popped loose from the laminate. I knew it would. The, the, these. These tests are just, just random tests for grins and giggles, okay? We're getting a little serious here with a piece of, of plaster that I had soaked and rehydrated, and I put a badab of plaster on it, and it ain't coming loose, folks. I knew that. That's how I repair plaster molds, and that ain't coming loose. It's, it's there. The next piece is a piece of plaster that was not rehydrated, and I put new plaster on top. It stuck pretty good, too which is a good testimonial for you could even do that. But plaster to plaster sticks pretty doggone good. Glass, we pretty much all know what's gonna happen here. It slid right off. So it doesn't stick to glass. How about stainless steel? Oh, it sticks to stainless steel pretty, pretty good too. So it sticks to metal. Uh, how about uh, plexiglass? Uh, oops, it, it's, it, come, it comes loose so easily on Lexan or plexiglass that the bottom of the plaster is shiny. So you know it won't stick to that. Aluminum, both, I took the oxidization off, which is natural with aluminum, and it did come loose pretty easy. This is with the standard aluminum that has an oxidized base. It comes loose pretty good too. Uh, the a piece of tile, bathroom tile, and it slid right off. And it also, just like the Lexan, is smooth as a baby's butt right on the back. So here's a piece of granite, polished granite. Also, it come loose. And here is a piece of Corian countertop. Same thing, it come loose, okay? And here's a piece of holographic foam, under uh, foam, excuse me, holographic film and it come off of that. Slick surface, but it come right off. No, no sticking to it at all. Uh, here's a piece of, of, of sandblast stencil, which is a rubber product. 
really flexible. And of course it doesn't slide off, but it peels off. Now it's stuck to that rubber pretty doggone good. You probably, if you had a mold coated with this, which you wouldn't do, you probably wouldn't get it out. And so last but not least is a piece of ceramic. This is just a little ceramic tray I make. And I put a daub on there. And folks, that stuff is stuck to that ceramic. I mean, it's that just broke loose. It's not coming off the ceramic. So it sticks to plaster, and it sticks to ceramic. It sticks to stainless steel. Pretty much everything else, it comes loose. The slicker the surface, of course, the easier it's going to come loose. So that's just a quick down and dirty on a few things I tried to find out what would stick, would plaster stick to. And that may be helpful a little bit when you start making a mold and you're pouring your plaster over a particular object. And as I mentioned before, you can coat your master, regardless of what it is, with uh, Murphy's Oil 50-50. You can spray it with vegetable oil, that helps, and some people use Vaseline, although I find it rather messy. But those are some of the release agents, mold release agents you can use. Get on YouTube, check out mold release agents, and see what you can come up with. And if you have some great ideas, regular ideas, or you're not sure what kind of an idea, put it in the comments below and share it with me so that I can ex expand my knowledge on uh, using plaster. All right, folks, I'm Captain Mike, and that's my video for today, and I am out of here.